Do you need new coping on your pool in order to install a new vinyl liner? Well, to answer that question, basically what it comes down to is, will the coping that's on your pool now last at minimum as long as the new liner will last? The last thing you want to do is replace a liner in your pool that you're expecting to get 7 or 10 or more years of life out of, and 3 to 5 years into that service life, your coping just completely fails, breaks completely, or fails in such a way that the liner just can't retain anymore, and despite the fact that the liner's still new, you need a new liner and a new coping system. So when it comes time to install a new liner, what you need to remember is that you need to inspect the coping and you need to determine will this coping last as long as the new liner is going to last. And here's a couple of things that you can consider. Did your last liner, did it fall out of the track? Did it fall out of the coping track all the time? Did a couple of times a year or maybe even a couple of times a month, you had to go out there and pour boiling water on your liner and stretch it back into the coping track and then maybe you got some stuff called liner lock that you read about and you stuffed that into the coping track and that kind of helped the liner to stay in a little bit but maybe it still falls out sometimes or in some places it's just not as good as others. Those are examples of a coping that I would be highly suspect of and I don't know whether I would feel comfortable installing a vinyl liner into that pool with that kind of coping because I don't want to get into that kind of situation where the coping has failed but the liner still has a lot of life left in it. So here's where things get complicated. If it was just that simple, like, oh, is the coping good? Yes, no, it's not good, get new coping, okay. So in some pools, you get lucky. It's just that easy. Coping's no good, okay, we need new coping. Bam, let's blast that new coping on. It's 600 bucks, 800 bucks, 1200 bucks, whatever it is. It's not the end of the world. It's something you can absorb. As a pool owner, you kind of have to roll with the punches a little bit. The problem is, is that there's a type of coping called deck integrated coping. Sometimes could be called bullnose coping or maybe people have other terms for it. The bottom line is, is the way that this coping is installed, part of it is installed onto the pool wall itself, but the other part is poured permanently as part of the pool deck. So you might have a profile of a coping that's like this and you've got the pool over here and you pour concrete all the way up to, and you've probably seen these before, they've got kind of like a white rounded PVC face. It's a bull nose style coping and it's something that was used in previous generations of pool builders and it's something that's still used today, albeit it looks a little different than it used to. Ultimately, it's the same. If you have a deck integrated coping, and you've had a failure of your coping system, this is just a lousy situation to be in. And this is something that I always struggle with to, to counsel pool owners about. Like, look, if you have deck integrated coping and your coping's failing, let me give you a, an example of how that happens. Let's say you have a leak in your pool. You didn't know it was there. or Maybe you bought the house and it's the last guy's problem, but the pool leaked forever. The concrete from, from your pool deck ended up kind of maybe sinking or maybe it cracked and broke and that break maybe got bigger every year once it froze and thawed and whatever and and now the coping itself is kind of being ripped and pulled away from the pool that's called a deck integrated coping failure if that happens what do you do well you need new coping obviously problem is you can't get new coping unless you take the deck out Taking the deck out, installing a new deck, new coping, new liner, you're talking about a whole backyard renovation project now. And unless you're saved up to the tune of you know, 20, 30, 40 thousand dollars, like forget about it. You're not even close to doing that kind of renovation project to your swimming pool. What are your other options? You can't leave the pool empty. It'll basically implode on itself. It needs to have the weight of the water in it to help it keep its structural integrity. So this is how homeowners get into a bad situation. And deck integrated coping failures are one of, are one of my least favorite things to have to deal with as a service professional. Um, it's worthwhile to mention there is a workaround which sometimes can be utilized to deal with a deck integrated coping failure to the extent that maybe this is something you can do that's not going to be a $30,000 re and re project on a deck coping and liner. 
what you could potentially do is use a low profile, excuse me, low profile style coping that you install directly underneath where the old coping track, the old failed coping track is. So normally what would happen with a bullnose style coping is it would be installed directly on top of the pool wall. Well, instead of installing a pool coping on top, what if you slid one up right underneath to the point where it sits on top of the wall. If you can install a very low profile coping track along there, you can, in theory, just change where you hang the liner from. You no longer hang the liner from your failing deck integrated coping. You hang your new liner from this low profile coping which has been mounted just slightly below. I mean, it's a technical challenge to do that. It might not look cosmetically perfect and one of the best things that you could do would be to run a very smart line of permanent white silicone in between the old coping and where your new coping went. So marry those two edges with some white silicone and that will go a long way towards cosmetically improving how this looks but ultimately this is still a band-aid kind of situation you had a major component failure you had a deck integrated coping failure and now instead of doing a deck removal a coping removal and a lining liner removal you're doing this kind of band-aid approach you put a low profile coping on there it looks pretty good it gets the job done it's not ideal but if you have a deck integrated coping failure there's not a lot of other really good options for you. So you don't always need to install new coping when it comes time to install a new liner, but you better look really close to be sure because you want that coping that you have on your pool to for sure last as long as the new liner. You never want to get into a situation where you've installed a new liner, the coping fails, and now you need another new liner again. If this information was helpful to you, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can check out my website, swimmingpoolsteve.com.